Hello everyone, I'm Lina Rupia. I'm studying in KL University. Today we are going to look into role of data science in health science. Agendas in these topics are uh, introduction to data science, importance of data science, domains of data science, healthcare domains, parasitical analysis project and the last one is conclusion. Now we'll look into this what is data science data science is the domain of study that deals with the vast volumes of data using modern tools and techniques to find unseen patterns derive meaningful information and make business decisions yeah here is the uh, here it uh, briefly describes about the data science. Data science uh, includes visualization, statistical modeling, statistical computing, data technology, data research, data consultancy, real world application and scientific methods. Yeah. In simple, data science is the study of data. It involves Develop, it involves developing methods of recording, storing and analyzing data to efficiently extract useful information. Data science uses complex machine learning algorithms to build predictive models. The data used for analysis can be from multiple sources and present in various formats. The goal of data science is to gain insights and knowledge from any type of data that is both structured and unstructured data. Yeah, importance of data science. Data science Data science enables companies to efficiently understand gigantic data from multiple sources and derive valuable insights to make smarter data-driven decisions. Data science is widely used in various industry domains including marketing, healthcare, finance, banking, policy work and many other more sectors. With the help of data science, the companies will be able to recognize their client in a more improved and enhanced way. Clients are the foundation of any product and plays an essential role in their success and failure. Data science helps brand to understand their customers in much enhanced and empowered manner. It allows brands to communicate their story in such an engaging and powerful manner. Data science enables companies to connect with their customers in a modified manner and thus confirms the better quality and the product of the product, power of the product. Big data is almost regularly helping brands and organizations solve pro complex problems in IT, human resource and resource management efficiently and strategically. This means effective use of resources both material and non-material yeah about domains of the data science as data science is used in many fields such as banking finance manufacturing transport healthcare, and uh, many more uh, still like uh, e-commerce marketing and so on etc we will look uh, the role of data science in the healthcare sector. In healthcare industry, data plays an important role in bringing improvisation and innovation. The healthcare data generate avenues for many discoveries. It provides the foundation to run the evaluation and the procedure more effective drugs. It establishes better communication between patients and the doctors. It improves the overall quality of the healthcare, giving a deeper insight into a patient's health report and how a specific drug is responding. There are several fields in healthcare such as uh, medical image, drug discovery, genomics, uh, virtual assistant and several other that make use of data science. Yeah, the first one is medical image analysis. In the health in, uh, sector, uh, we will look the first one that is medical image analysis. Data science helps in recognition of the scanned images to figure out the defects in a human body for helping doctors make an efficient treatment strategy. This 
Now, this medical image test includes X-ray, sonography, MRI, CT scan and many more. Proper analysis of the images of this test helps gain valuable insights for the doctors to provide the patients with the better treatment. These are the general imaging, uh, imaging techniques, uh, but the involvement of data science has made these imaging techniques further easier in the healthcare industry. There are various methods in data science that find difference between the states of image and the resolution and check the uh, orthogonality. Data scientists are working on creating more advanced techniques to improve the quality of the image analysis so that the patient data from an image is extracted efficiently. Yeah, the common algorithms that are used in medical image analysis are anomaly detection algorithm. This algorithm helps in identifying conditions such as bone fracture and displacement. Image processing algorithm the image processing algorithm helps in analyzing images and enhancing or de, uh, de, uh, denoising them. And the second one is drug discovery. As the world's population is growing, there are many issues in human body emerging every now and then. This may be due to lack of proper food, anxiety, disorder, pollution, physical illness, etc. It has now become a challenge for medical research institutes to find medicines or vaccines for the diseases in a short time. Since to have a formula for medicine, the researchers have to understand the characteristics of the agent it may require millions of test cases so before uh, the implementation of data science in drug discovery it may take uh, the uh, it may take 10 to 12 years for the uh, test cases but now with the help of various applications of data science in healthcare it has become a much easier task the data from millions of test cases can be processed within months or uh, maybe in weeks it helps in evaluating the efficiency of the drug through data analysis. Hence, the successfully tested vaccine or medicine can be launched in less than a year. This is all possible with the help of data science and machine learning. Both have, research, uh, both have uh, equal importance in the research and development sectors of a medical drug industry. Genomics what is meant by genomics? Genomics is one of the interesting areas of studies in medical science. It is the study for sequencing and examination of genomes that consists of genes and DNAs of living beings. The research on the genes of organism, uh, organisms facilitates high level treatments. The aim of studying genomics is to find the characteristics and irregularities in DNAs. Also, it helps uh, uh, to find the correlation between your disease symptoms and the health conditions of the person affected. The study of genomics was a redundant and time consuming task. This is due to the presence of millions of uh, pairs of DNA cells in the human body. Uh, but now the applications of DA, uh, data science in health Healthcare and genomics has made this task very easier. Uh, we can analyze the human genes uh, um, with uh, less efforts. With the help of data science, we can analyze the human genes uh, so with less effort and time. That these tools facilitate the researchers to find specific genetic issues and the drug that uh, responds uh, best for specific type of gene. Yeah, this image implies the uh, DNA of the human body and genes contains recipes for proteins proteins uh, uh, are nothing but proteins act uh, uh, alone or in a complex to perform the cellular functions yeah. uh, now we'll look into the tools used in uh, used in the research of uh, genomics are uh, MapReduce. MapReduce helps in processing huge amounts of uh, genetic data with the help of MapReduce uh, uh, genetic data. With the help of uh, MapReduce, the genetic uh, sequences can be processed in a lesser time. SQL. SQL helps in a retrieval of genomic data from the various database and also helps in the computation of this data. Galaxy. It is a GUI based application used for biomedical researchers to perform researches on genomes so we can uh, do specific operations using galaxy bioconductors bioconductors are used for analysis of the genetic data
see uh, once look in uh, look this picture uh, genomics is nothing but uh, preconception and uh, uh, testing newborn screening disease uh, identifying screening and diagnosis uh, uh, prognosis and monitoring the disease burden virtual assistants the application that are built using virtual assistants are great examples of utilizations of data science data scientists uh, have built comprehensive platform that give personalized experience to the patient the medical application that use a data assistance uh, a data science assistant a patient the medical application that use data science assist a patient in identifying the disease by analyzing the symptoms the patient just needs to enter his uh, his or her symptoms and the application will itself predict the uh, disease and the condition of the patients this is the use of the uh, uh, virtual assistance virtual assistance is nothing but tracking and preventing the disease it will suggest precautions medications and the treatment required as per the conditions of the patient Further, the application anal analyzes the data of the patients and uh, creates a checklist of the treatment processes that need to follow. Then it regularly notifies the patient for taking medicines. This helps in avoiding the situation of negligence that might make condition worse. A virtual assistance has also proved to be useful for patients who suffer for, uh, from anxiety and uh, with uh, other psychological disorders. The treatment of these uh, patients become productive as the application regularly notifies them of taking required measures. One of the examples of a virtual assistance is WoBoard developed by the Stanford University. It is a chatbot that helps patients with the psychological disorders in improving their mental health with the proper treatment. Now we will look at the pharmaceutical analysis of the process. First, you need to import all the required libraries such as uh, uh, NumPy, Pandas, uh, Matplotlib, uh, Data Util, and OS. NumPy is used for linear pro algebra, Pandas, data processing, and reading the CSV file. Uh, uh, first, you need to download the CSV, uh, CSV file and you need to read the CSV file. Yeah, the syntax for reading the CSV file is pd.read.csv and this is the path of the CSV file and ensure that uh, make sure you are giving the right path and df2.headoff headoff function is used to uh, used to uh, you uh, head of functions use the first five details of the drugs or uh, details of the drugs like uh, uh, unique id drug name conditions review rating date and useful count the first five items in the list uh, and the df2 is uh, dot describe of functions use the uh, uh, use the informations like count, mean, STD, minimum, 25%, 50%, and all these uh, percentage, max, mean, max, standard, all those information will be given by the describe of function. And here we will find the relation between the rating and the useful uh, count. This is the syntax for uh, finding the correlation between the rating and the useful count. X axis uh, denotes the rating and Y axis denotes the useful count. See, here in this image you can see the ratings and this is the uh, syntax for finding top 15 reviews based on the basis of useful count. See, these are the top 15 items top most uh, uh, reviewed items right and this is the syntax to find the most used drugs to treat the condition these are the drug names that are mostly used to who treat the conditions and this is used to find the most common condition that are treated yeah these are the most common conditions that are treated like birth control, depression, pain, anxiety, so on. Yeah, this is to establish a data frame to focus on birth control. This is the syntax to establish a data frame to control on 
on a birth control and this is the location to locate the uh, birth control used in data frame and this is that syntax and this is the syntax to get the number of times each drug was used for the birth control and this is the syntax the syntax is followed by this and this is the data frame to show the average satisfaction of using estrogen for birth control this is the drug name uh, this is the syntax for getting the drug name right average of the uh, drug used for the birth control and this is the syntax to add the column in the data frame so here we are adding the column like year year is my column name i am adding to the data frame and this is the code for finding annual average ratings right yeah this implies the code for average uh, annual average ratings yeah this is uh, here is the graph for finding the five most popular drugs of for birth control this is the graph that is indicating the uh, five most popular drugs that are used for birth control and uh, uh, these are the various colors and each color represents the various drug names uh, based on the situation and based on the uh, uh, conditions these drugs are being implemented and these drugs are used uh, to the patients and x-axis implies year and y-axis implies ratings and this is the graph that represents uh, 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 for depression these are the drugs that are used uh, five most popular drugs that are used to cure depression and uh, five or uh, this is the graph for five most popular drugs for pain these are the five most popular drugs that are used to uh, cure pain and this is the graph for our uh, anxiety uh, these are the five most uh, used uh, most uh, popularly used drugs for the problem of anxiety and uh, this is the drug for acne and these are the five most popular uh, drugs that are used to cure acne yeah that's it about pharmaceutical analysis project and the finally will come to conclusion that yeah in the end we conclude that data science has many applications in healthcare the medicines and the healthcare industries has heavily utilized data science for improving lifestyles of patients and predicting diseases at an early stage moreover with the air advancement in medical analysis it is possible for the doctors to find out microscope tumors that were hard to find therefore data science has a huge impact in healthcare and as well as in the medical industries in many ways yeah that's it about the uh, role of data science uh, role of data science in healthcare industry there are many advantages uh, uh, and um, there, uh, there are many applications that are being used by the data science we use data science in many sectors in the healthcare industries thank you thank you for watching my video